Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to continue on with a bit more of me like through games series. This time I'm going to do things a little bit different with jumping in the arcades. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the older arcades in this one, to be honest, to get them out of the way. Um, there is no any of your thoughts, memories of these games in the comments. would be very much appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please sub to the channel and hit the thumbs up on the video. That'll help as well. And yeah, let's get things running. Um, I'm going to start off probably way back near where it all began, near enough, um, with a bit of Asteroids by Atari. I'll just figure me buttons out. So yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty straightforward, but I've got a feeling it's still going to be quite playable to be Despite its age, as, as you can see at the bottom there, it says it was created in 1979. So, like I sort of alluded to at the beginning, these were already established arcade machines in the arcades when I started going. I was around 8, 9-ish when I started visiting the arcade places, and these are a few of the games that will have been in there. I will build up all series forward. So I start playing like more of the the, the games more uh, my era. But I did enjoy a lot of these retro retro um, original arcade games. Again, though, any, any feedback is appreciated. Let us know what games you played. If you have any good memories about playing any of them, obviously your folks might have took you to your local arcade room. Um, for myself, it was down Playburn and Roker for the most part, unless we were on holiday. Um, I used to go. In me sort of teenage years, I, I tended to go quite a bit myself. Um, but well, again, that was like different games. That was sort of like the Double Dragon era, things like that. Um, which I'm looking forward to trying again, to be fair. I've been playing a lot of them since I've played like the arcade ports of those games. We're just going to have a quick game or two. Bring back some memories. I might even down the line sort of revisit some of the favourite ones if you've got any favourites. Um, and we'll try and do high score challenges if you've got access to the games. You can send some scores and we'll see if we can get anywhere near them. Uh, I've been looking forward to trying some of these again. I like see it's been a long time since I've played the likes of this. Um, even with the remakes on the consoles and stuff, there was a lot missing from them that I did used to enjoy. So it's nice to. Now I've got a way of getting access to them and give the ports a go and see what they're all about. Well, that was asteroids. That's good fun. Uh, next up, we have one of my personal favourite arcade games. I'm not very good at it, but I did enjoy it, and I used to play it a lot on the Spectrum as well. Um, because it wasn't a bad port, from what I remember, on the Spectrum. It was a game called Phoenix. Uh, it's like a space invadersy type thing. So it actually had like a, a boss level. As such, I think it's still loot. But, but the music's quite haunting. And some of these were an absolute nightmare to kill when they got near the bottom. Um, you've got to time your shots to perfection on this because it's. There we go. 
Um, but like I said, as, as you sort of progress, you go through different levels, different waves, and eventually you get to like an alien mothership that you've got to take down, which was always quite tough. After you get past the dodgy bird egg things, noise. Obviously, the quicker you get rid of them as eggs, the better, because they're a nightmare to kill as birds. I did like this game. I'll be in there. Not be worth. He's got us cornered. What can I do now? What was he doing? The cheeky little bastard. Oh, and then I do that. He got me flustered there, I wasn't expecting to do that. Normally they go back up the top like that. But he didn't, he come crawling along the bottom and killed us. Look, he's going to do it again. shields and then try and hit the alien. Without getting killed. Which is tough. Yeah, it's good fun though. I might have to revisit that one as well. Uh, another shooter type game that was out around that sort of period. Another classic. And another bloody hard game is Centipede. Sorry if it's in a little screen, I'm not sure. Some, some of these ports tend to do that for some reason. to kill them. I always struggle with this game, I don't know. I can see the appeal, because it is bloody hard, but it's... I never killed the last couple.
Spiders on the right mission? Centipede. Another early game. Another classic. One of the precursors for the platform again, I think it was. Don't recall many before this. If there was any. And that is Donkey Kong. I was never very good at Donkey Kong. I'm thinking I'm invincible with that, but I'm not, am I? I'm going to time it to hit them. Mario's ass. Top. As I said, I was never very good at this. Jump man, I should say, not Mario. He wasn't Mario at this point, was he? Oh. Billy Mitchell can keep his right order. Just bonus points. Oh, 
we doing here? I can't remember this though. Tell me how far I got. What was I meant to be doing there? I got all the bits. You're dead. I'm assuming you've got to undo all them. No! You kind of go back. With these no ideas game mechanics. Cheat you with his throws now, though. Ah, uh, really? I pull off all them bloody jumps and then that happens. Yeah, send as you don't, you can't see us. You know the fear of it. I played across different platforms. This is a good old frogger. Again, there might be in a small screen, but no, I do apologize. What kill is that? Jump off! Oh, I'll push back. I see it going down. Boom! Flip these bat wheel. We'll have another go. Don't make games like this anymore, do I? Thank God that made some years cry. Good game is still playable. Basic but playable. That's a bad frog or a good frog. Good frog. Till I do that. Oh, 
can go on and I jump in the water anyhow. Getting too carried away looking at these pink frogs. Ah, too late. Too late. Bastard. Yeah, these are all like 1980, 1981 type games. Um, I'm just revisiting a few. Like I said I'm going to keep doing this series and try and keep pushing more out. I did record an episode for last week, but it didn't seem to work properly. Um, let me give this one a go. There was a version on the Spectrum, which was Mr. Wimpy, where you controlled Mr. Wimpy. It was the same game, it was just Mr. Wimpy, instead of this random dude. Basically, I'm just going to build the burgers. as you go on as well. Need spray pepper spray at them. Stop them. Give you the chance to get past them. I just knock. A bit fiddly sometimes, controls. I wonder if you can get more pepper. Or is that it? Down the ladder! Oh. I did push down the ladder. I did not. I'll give it another go. Yeah, I think 
I need to find some setting where I can quickly switch between resolutions because some of these don't seem to be displaying very well. And then I got stuck on the ladder. Down the ladder! Yeah, it's that's not bad. Like I said there was a Mr. Wimpy version I remember playing on the Spectrum. Basically the same game. But there was I'm sure there was like a a level in between where you had to run left and right avoiding things to try and get ingredients to make the burgers, if I remember right. It's sticking with the same sort of time frame. We'll have a go on. Another one of his Spectrum favourites. I used to play this with one of my friends quite a lot. Two player, as it was good fun trying to challenge each other. Billy Joust. Hostage Joustin for the win. Uh, you've got to try and hit them higher than they hit you. play this too, play and just sort of challenge each other and it's good fun. Look 
gonna be a little close to him. I don't do them that time. No, uh, two more. I'm not happy with that one, like. One more game that I want to visit this session. I think I used to play this on a friend's Atari as well. I'm sure he had it on his Atari. Bit of Cubit. I can't remember how to play this to be fair. We'll give it a go. I think you just had to colour the squares in, didn't you? Oh, uh, bloody isometric controls or. Right, so downs that way. No. Awkward controls. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to practice with these controls. Need to hold the controller a certain way, I think, so I'm actually jumping the right way. Because that's just jump to your death. As is that. Added as well, there. We'll give that another go. I'm getting your head around these controls, so it's not up, down, left, and right. It's like down takes you left, up takes you back up to the right. Pushing up instead of left. Anybody remember this one? Can you land on them swirly things? You can. Yeah, I'm sure I played this on a friend's. Atari or something. I seem to recall it on an Atari.
Yeah, so that's the first step of the arcade. Like I said, I'm just going to go through them in sort of the order they were released as such and try and bring us back up to date with the the Spectrum and then go from there and then move into the other consoles and stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Leave feedback, like I said, any memories you've got of any of these games or any games you used to play. We very much appreciate it. Sub to the channel. And if you've got time, watch a couple more of my other videos and try and help us hit my viewing hours target. That would be very much appreciated as well. In the meantime, cheers for watching.